So my background in music developed from setting up a society for electronic music here at the university. So I basically found a load of people who were interested in what I was interested in, so dance music, and kind of brought them together. We worked with local artists and DJs and people who just liked the music. We built a brand, a radio show, I managed to get an internship with Chaser Status' label MTA Records. Finally, it gets to 2016 and we discovered Record Label in a Box. I'd been toying with the idea of making a record label for quite some time, but there's so many things about setting it up that are so intimidating, you know, having to go to a company's house, having to get a business bank account, uh, registering everything, but the box really does take a lot of the work out of that. It allows you to get off the ground and, and start running with it. I would say the most helpful aspects of the box has been the dashboard. Being able to use that and have everything in one place to be able to see how the sales are doing and to be able to just manage everything inside one suite is, is so fantastic. And definitely being able to use things like the contract suite has been really useful. I mean, you look at some of these contracts and you see all of the legal information and, and it can be daunting, but the contract suite allows you to not just generate contracts, but it explains it and it, it helps you to break down the terms and to really sign the deals that you want to sign and, and to get them all right the first time. So the main idea behind Watchman Records, it's just simply a way for us to share the great music that we've heard and really push it to new audiences. We're obviously still quite new, but we've had a couple of good successes so far, such as signing Glay One. We were really, really happy when he decided to join us because he's actually got a really good following online. You know, he found a really good vocalist, Annalie Black, and uh, when we heard the track Stay, uh, which is the one she sang on, we were just blown away by it. It was just, it really puts chills on you know, the back of your neck. So next up there is Phoresis and he is a drum and bass artist who's actually from Australia and we just put out his two track single called Digital Light Droplets. We managed to find a YouTube channel, a promotional channel that picked it up and actually put it out there and it got a good few thousand views which is still climbing now and, and quite a lot of uh, good responses and, and likes and comments which were all really positive so we definitely know we're on to a winner with him. The third artist I'll mention is Shawnee D. Now Shawnee D is another drum and bass artist. He's really really good at what he does and he's going to be putting an EP out with us uh, later this month, April called Talk Less, Grind More. Sean is also the co-host of our radio show, Native Radio, uh, which airs on Siren FM just downstairs from the studio. And that's, uh, that's a dance music show that we do on a Sunday night. The music industry can sometimes come across as very kind of um, closed, as if as if all the doors are closed, and it, you know, unless you're signed, you're not going to get your music anywhere. But obviously, that's that's no longer the case. 